Hey everyone, how you doing? Blue here, back with another Minecraft tutorial. Today we're back in our Japanese village with this little kind of Japanese style farmhouse. Now this is a really cool little build. You've got quite a bit of room inside for doing what you want with. You've also got a little storage on the side and a little garden at the front as well. Now I've got to say I'm really inspired by the Japanese builds at the moment so I have a bunch of them planned. If you have any ideas of builds you'd like to see me do be sure to let me know in the comments below. But with that being said, let's go ahead and build this. Okay, here's the layout of the floor plan. As you can see, this one is pretty big. The white area you can see is the little decking platform that's gonna be on the outside of the build. Now we've got the red blocks, which are one block. Green is two, yellow is three, orange is four, blue is five, and pink is nine. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and put all the items you're gonna need on screen now, so be sure to pause the video if you need to. And with that being said, let's go ahead and build this. Okay, we're going to start from the front of the build and we're going to start by getting the walls in place first of all. So we're going to start with our strip spruce wood and we're going to place one just here. Leave a five block gap to the right and place another one here. Then we're going to raise those until they are both five blocks high in total. Behind the one on the left, we're going to leave a two block gap and then we're going to go diagonally up one and place one here. Followed by five more behind it, leaving a one block gap between each of them, making six in total. Across the back, we're going to leave a three block gap and a three block gap. Then we're going to go back to the front right hand pillar this time. Leave a two block gap and go diagonally over to the right. Place one here. And then we're going to place one and two more behind it, leaving a one block gap between those as well. Now, we're going to raise these all until they are seven blocks high in total. So we've got one there already. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to do that all the way around. Once you're done, at the very front here, we're going to go ahead with our spruce planks and put a row of them in the gap here, and then just put one on the two corners like this. Behind the logs here, we're going to put a layer of two, just like this, and the same on this side. We're also going to put two in these gaps, and then round on the opposite side here, we're going to put two in between all of these gaps down the side. At the back, we're going to put three with three on top and the same in this gap here. And then in between here, we're going to place one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to head on to the inside and we're going to go ahead on the bottom layer here. We're just going to fill this in with our spruce planks or a flooring of your choice. Okay, once you're done, go ahead and get yourself white concrete or a white block of your choice. You can use the bone block or some white wall. It's entirely up to you, but I just think that the white concrete looks the nicest. Now, down the left-hand side here, we're going to go ahead and fill the single gaps in all the way until we're in line with the pillar. At the back here, we're going to do the same in this three block gap. Now, round to the left, we're going to come to the front in these two little gaps here, and we're going to do the same. Now, on the front here, we're going to go ahead and place one, two, three, bringing it level with the pillar at the very front. We're also going to do the same on this one, and we're going to repeat that on this side. And then we're going to go ahead and just put one all the way across the top there. Now, we're going to head to the back right-hand side of the build over here. And what we're going to do is this gap here, we're going to go ahead and put a strip spruce log just here. And then we're going to leave a four block gap and put one here, which will be diagonally from this corner. We're going to raise these ones until they are seven blocks higher as well. Just like this. 
Then we're going to leave a two block gap. We're going to raise one on here and we're going to make it five blocks high. So that's three, four, five. Then we're going to leave a four block gap and do one that is four blocks high. Now, we're going to leave a four block gap coming towards the front here and we're going to do exactly the same. So four on this one, leave a four block gap here and place five and you should have a two block gap at the side. We're going to go ahead and connect this one across here and then at the back, this one across the top here as well. Then for the little side here, this is going to be a little storage area. We're going to put a log across the bottom down here down this side here and then around the back we're going to go ahead and bring it all the way down this one we're going to leave this bit in the in the center here because this is going to be a storage area so we're going to run the planks all the way through at the front where we have our spruce planks we're going to bring that out by two more so one two just like that we're going to put one in front of the logs and we're going to extend that by two then we're going to bring it backwards by three, like this. So on the side, we should be coming from the pillar here over by, by two more and then down by three more. Let's do the same on the opposite side here. So we're going to go out by two more and we're going to stretch those all the way down until we reach this pillar here. Now, from this pillar down here, we do the same thing. So two, out by two, bring it all the way down until you connect to this pillar. And then down the opposite side, we're going to do the same thing. So bring out by two on this pillar and we're going to go all the way down to the end of the build. And then at the end, we're just going to come out by one more. And then we're going to run a single strip all the way across the back. And we're going to come over by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then join it to this one. So we're one in front of the very end pillar here. And then just go ahead and fill all of this in here. Now, if we go to the little bit on the inside here, we can go ahead, fill these little gaps in here and then fill this section in here with your planks as well. And it gives us a nice bit of a base to work from now. Let's get our strip spruce wood again. And at the very front here, we're going to place one on each side of the uh, little bit that sticks out here, leaving a three block gap in the center. Then we're going to place one diagonally from this corner, one in this little corner here and one to this corner here as well. On the left hand side here, we're going to go one diagonally on the corner here, one in this corner and then one here. From here, we're going to leave a three block gap all the way down and place another three more, making four in total. And then down the back here, we're going to leave three block gaps all the way until we get to the diagonal corner like this. Then we're going to get our spruce stairs, place them upside down in all of the gaps all the way around. When we get to this gap here at the front, we're going to leave that for the moment and then we're going to skip to this bit here. This one right in front of the door, we're going to leave that as well. And then we're going to continue around the corner here. And then we're going to leave this one here like that. Let's get our spruce slabs and in the ones we've missed, we're going to go ahead and put in some spruce slabs in those gaps on the bottom like this, which gives us a nice little walkway to come up to. Okay, we're going to grab our white concrete again and over on the right hand side over here, we're going to go ahead and just fill in this four block wall on the side by three blocks high. Okay, so it's level with those pillars there. We don't want to fill in this one at the front or the back, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to actually put in some fences there. So let's put four across to here, another four on top, and then four more on top of that. And we'll leave it like that for now. We'll do exactly the same at the back here. Now we're going to go around on the outside and wherever we've got these little spruce um, stripped logs here, we're going to just put on a slab on top of them all, okay? Just like this, all the way around.
Okay, time to start working on the roofs. So before we do the roof at the very front here, let's go ahead and get our strip spruce log and we're gonna bring it all the way across this gap here, joining it up to this side. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put in white concrete on every other block like this, bring it too high. And then the same with the strip spruce wood, making it level with the rest of the walls. Now, we're gonna get our stone bricks here for the roof. And at the very front here, we're gonna place one, two, three until we're level with the pillar here. And then we're gonna come out by two more. And we're gonna do the same on this pillar here. At the side here, we're gonna put slabs on the lower half of the brick. At the very front here, we're gonna put one on the bottom, one more out, and then we're gonna bring that down until we're in line with this bit here. And then we're gonna get our spruce stairs and underneath, we're going to skip, well, basically where the pillar is here, we're going to put an upside down one against that pillar and then two more like this. Okay. And we'll do exactly the same on this side. So we can do the stair first, upside down one there, bring it across. The stone brick slab underneath, one on this corner, one in the side, and then bring it down like so. Now, if we put a slab here and a slab here, we can go ahead, put in a stair on each side with an upside down stair behind it. And then we can go ahead, put another stair on top of those, an upside down one in the middle, one on top, and an upside down one against that one. And then if we come around to the back here, we can go ahead and put in a slab on that one and that one. We can then put in a row of concrete here, which should be five blocks, and then three blocks in front of that, like so. We would then go ahead, put in two upside down stairs on each side on the inner edge, like this. And then we can bring our stairs all the way across here, and all the way across here. Then we're gonna put upside down stairs again on that side, and upside down stairs on this side. And then we're gonna connect those all the way down like this. Put your four blocks in the gap in the middle and then place one slab just there. And there we go. And what we can do here, if you wanna make it look a little bit better, you could go ahead and break this one across here. So you wanna keep that rim like that and then go ahead and connect across the spruce like this. Just gives it a little bit of a nicer finish. Now for the big roof at the back here, we're gonna do pretty much a very similar design. So from the corner here, we're gonna place a full stone brick here, come out by two, and then we're gonna extend it all the way down the back on top of these blocks, and then out by two at the back. On this corner over here, let's place one here, out by two, and we're gonna repeat that pattern, making sure that we come across this gap and join back onto the wall over here, and then overhang by two. Get your spruce stairs again, and we're gonna put an upside down one here, and we're gonna bring that all the way across until we join to this one. And then this side here, we're just gonna put one upside down stair just there. On the opposite side, we're gonna come around here, place an upside down stair there. One, two, three, and four. Upside down stair on this one. One, two, three, four, four. And then a full block in the center. Now, run your slabs on the bottom half of the stone bricks all the way across. Place one on this corner on the bottom, come out by one and then run it all the way across the top half of the stairs, all the way to here and then place one here just underneath this corner. Then we can go ahead and place a slab here and here. And on the back of the build, we're gonna place one here and here. Let's repeat that on this side. So slabs. One underneath, one out to the side, bring it down to the back. And then one underneath, two in here, two in here. Now let's make the roof peaks on the front and the back. So for this one, it's gonna be very slightly different. We're gonna go stair, upside down stair on each side. 
Then we're gonna go a stair again. Upside down stair. Then a full block with a stair on top. Upside down stair in the center. A normal stair on top. Upside down stair on the front. And we're gonna do exactly the same pattern on the back. So a stair, upside down stair, stair, upside down stair. The same on this side. Full block on top, stairs on top, upside down stair in the center, stair on top, upside down stair facing against it. Now around the back here, we're going to go ahead and I think what we do is we're going to break these two sections here of the, the white concrete and we're going to extend across the wood. We're going to raise the center up by four so that we can cover that gap. Place two here and two here. So there's a one block gap between all of them. Place one concrete there, three concrete here, three concrete here and one here. Now we're just basically going to do the same on this side here. So let's go ahead and go one and two, one, two, three, four, one, two with the stripped wood and then one concrete, three concrete, three concrete, and one concrete. Right now, we want to, before we move and fill the roof all the way across, we just want to fill in the gaps that are going to be sitting against the blocks on the edge here. So, as you can see, we've got some upside down stairs. So, let's go ahead and we're sneaking here, put an upside down stair against those two in there. So, from underneath, we can see it connects. Let's do the same in here upside down stair and an upside down stair and then right in the center here we're going to put an upside down stair against that block there let's do the same over this side here so in here we want to put an upside down stair against that block and that block turn around and do the same here against either the stair or the blocks like that and then around the front put an upside down block there upside down stair there sorry <laughs> Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to get our four blocks. And as you can see, these are stairs. So we're going to go to the full block up here. And first of all, connect this one all the way down to the back. Do the same for this one. Then we're going to run one all the way through the middle. Now on the inside here, to make it a little bit easier and to make it look nicer on the inside, we're going to run upside down stairs across the back of these blocks here we're also going to run them across these blocks here and then we're going to go ahead and we can put an upside down stair here and here and then on the opposite side here and here and we can connect them from one side to the other And then in the middle, go ahead and put in some stone bricks all the way across. Now on the outside, we should just be able to go ahead where our two stairs are and just bring them all the way across, joining them together now. Like this, do the same at the very top. And then we're going to repeat that on this side as well. Okay, once you're done, we're going to come down to the front here and we're going to actually get rid of these two slabs here. And then we're going to place one, two, and I think three of our fence posts. This is the strip, the uh, spruce fence. Place three on each one. Then we're going to place a slab on top of that one. Like that. And we're going to bring it across till we get to this one. Place one in front of the fence underneath like this. Okay, so we're on the top half of the fence. Then we're going to put a one here and one here. Break the one at the back for now. And then bring a row underneath here, like this. Making sure that we don't go past the two fences. And then finally, 
Put one in at the very back, just like that. Okay, this is looking really good. Let's go ahead and get the roof over on the side here now. So where we've got this little piece sticking out here, we want to go ahead right where the edge of that stair is there and put in a stone brick slab and bring it out by one. And we're going to do the same over here where this side is. So just to the side, one there, one there. Now this roof here is a little bit different. So what we're going to do is where we've got this one now sticking out, we're going to go down and out one. Okay. Then we're going to go down and then out by two. Down again, out by two. Down again and out by two. So we get this shape going on in here, as you can see. So you should have a slab, a slab, two slabs, two slabs, two slabs. Now to neaten up the inside here, first of all, we're going to put two full blocks in here. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put in, what do we have? We're going to put in a um, fence and a fence like this. And then two fences on this side. And then of course, two of our planks as well. Now what we're going to do here is literally just bring these two all the way over here. Join those ones up. Bring the four block over. And join that one up like this. Making sure you put the slab underneath that edge there. If we go ahead and put in the um, design repeated from the other side. So now we've got a slab slab. Two slabs. One down. One two. One down. One two. Okay. Then we're going to bring a slab all the way across this one. A slab all the way across this one. Slab across this one. Then we're going to bring in our four blocks. And then lastly, we're going to bring out by two on the slabs at the bottom. Excellent. And there we go. Now we've got a nice little storage area on the inside here, which I think looks really cool. Now on the inside here, we're going to go to the back pillar. So as you can see, we've got the entrance way to the side here and here. Okay. If we go to that little pillar on the inside, give yourself a three block gap and then bring your strip spruce wood all the way across and join it to there. And then at the very top there, you could go ahead and put in white concrete, I guess, like that from the inside. And then go ahead and put two pillars in here. Now I bought, before I do anything else, let me go ahead and just grab some lanterns here. And um, ignore all the rubbish in my inventory. And we're going to go ahead and just put in a couple of lights so that you can see exactly how it looks in here. Okay. So, so you can see everything. Okay. Now we've got the roof on this side in. Let's head over to the left hand side of the build here. And we're going to get in a little roof across this edge. Now this edge here is going to end up being a very little bit different here. So what we're going to do is we'll go to the back of the build. We're going to come in by one and we're going to place a stone brick stair all the way across like this to this corner. And then we're going to put a slab just there. Then we're going to place a slab here, one underneath and then one on the bottom half of that block. And then we're going to repeat that all the way across to this side. At this side here, we're going to put a slab under there, slab under there, slab there, and then connect this one all the way down. Just like so. Now what we're going to actually do here is we're going to break one, two and three of the slabs and we should be able to bring our fence posts up and join onto these. Just like so. And then we're going to get our slab one more time. We're going to place one on that end, one on that end. Then we're going to bring it out and join it all the way across again until we connect on this side. Okay, now the structure is all in place. Let's just add in a few little details. So first of all, we're gonna put a fence underneath there and underneath there, and then we're gonna put in a lantern just underneath it. On the roof above, we're gonna do the same thing. So put your fence and a lantern on that corner and the same over here. 
Now this one here, you actually won't be able to get it, so you're going to have to actually remove that slab. So you kind of have to make a choice, either the slab or the lantern. Um, you can put the lantern up if you wanted. In fact, you can try that if you want. Break that. You could go ahead and you could put the block here. You could just have the lantern underneath that corner like that. And if you wanted to even it out, you could do the same over here. Something like that. And then, of course, make sure you go inside, add yourself some lanterns on the inside to brighten everything up, make it nice and light in here. Maybe just one. Hmm. That might look a bit funny there. Maybe we could go ahead on the inside, actually inside this edge here, go ahead, put a slab in here all the way across. At the very top there, you can actually fill that one all the way up with a block like that. Um, yeah, that should be good. And then I think we could just go ahead, maybe just put two lanterns in here like this. Yeah, I think that looks better. Now, there's several ways in here that you can do some little kind of sliding shutters. What I like to do is I like to put two spruce trapdoors at the bottom. So one where the gap of the door is and one to the side so that it looks like it could actually slide. And then two of the oak trap doors on top. You have to crouch to place them. Okay. So two on top like this and then close them all up. And then it looks a bit like a door that could slide and close. Now you can use the birch trap doors if you want to, if you prefer. I'm honestly not a huge fan of birch trap doors, so I like to do it like this. But it's entirely up to you guys what you want to use. Make sure it's your own, so do it as you prefer. And then where we got this door over here, we're going to do exactly the same. So let's go one, two trapdoors there. We're going to put two trapdoors here purely because we haven't got the um, we haven't got a enough room. So um, let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, so two of those, and then we're going to crouch place two normal trapdoors, and then. Another one on top. One and two. One and two. And then we're going to close them all up like this. There we go. I think that looks pretty cool. And we've got a nice little area here that we can use to do anything that we want with. Now, at this point, I'll go ahead and get your fence. Bring it all the way across from here and from this corner here. Join them up. Give yourself a nice little kind of a garden area. You could grow some crops in here. You could do anything you want with it. Uh, it's entirely up to you. I won't I won't do too much with the garden. I'll leave that down to your own preference. But go ahead, put some bushes around the edge. Go ahead and put in some bamboo shoots. But bamboo grows very tall. So if you want to make it look nice like a decorative plant, just go ahead, get yourself a piece of string in your inventory. A piece of string like this. And then that way, when you grow your bamboo, if you place a string on top, it will stop it from growing any further. So you could go ahead, let it grow to say about there and say, right, I'm going to put a string on top so then that won't grow any further. You could place a bit diagonally near it, maybe over here. Maybe this one you only want to make it free so that it doesn't look the same height. It gives a nice little variation in the height of things. Over here, you could just put, maybe just do two, you know. I think the bamboo looks good when you put it around scattered but at different heights, okay? Something like that. And then you could go ahead and get yourself maybe some bushes, maybe some oak leaves, maybe some rose bushes as well. And you could just scatter them in like this. Now, one thing I do like to do as well, guys, which I will give you a little tip here as well, is I don't like it when the bamboo has this flat top like this. So if you go ahead and you just break a couple at the top, the string will stay where it is. Break a couple here. This one here, break the top one. This one here, I'm going to break the top one, making sure that your string don't break. And if you just go ahead and bone meal it, you get the little leaves that pop out the sides, okay? So you go ahead, you do that, and then it gives you that little bristly edge. It just makes the bamboo look a little bit nicer. See? A little bit nicer, makes it look a bit more decorative. Another little thing you can do, and I would only do it on the main house. I wouldn't do it on this piece over here, purely because the um, the section dips down. It looks a little bit funny. But on the bottoms 
of the ones on top of the platform here you can go ahead and put a barrel at the bottom here they look like kind of um, a little bit like they're supported and I just think it looks it looks quite effective so you might want to go ahead and do that all the way around on your pillars but don't do it on the, the little section that overhangs on the right hand side of the build because uh, it just won't it doesn't look right for some reason you can put one there but yeah I'd leave the rest as it is like that I think that looks pretty good and then finally one last thing I would suggest to do is around the back here I would go ahead and probably break in some windows maybe about there and there um, I would actually probably go ahead and bring this pillar here down by one more block I think it would look better and then go ahead put your logs down like that and then put your white concrete in here I do apologize for that guys but I think that would look a little bit better like that go ahead maybe put in a couple of little tables at the back here as a form of decoration um, I would put a upside down stair each side of where your window is like that and then maybe a slab in the middle let's go ahead and just break these ones down here we don't need those there for the moment a slab in the middle something like that and then of course don't forget we're gonna get our trap doors here and we're gonna place one here one on top one here one on top for our windows and then you probably want to get these spruce trap doors as well because the spruce ones work really well as little shutters kind of like this i think it just looks really cool other than that maybe get yourself some stone buttons and you could bring them across this pillar all the way across the back here just a very small little sort of added bit of detail do the same across here you know there's so many ways of adding a little bit of detail to these builds guys it's just really about playing around with it and kind of making it your own you know you can always go in as well and add in another little stairway at the back here so you've got a little bit of room to come down out the back maybe a little stairway there and i think that is looking pretty good Overall guys, I'm really enjoying this Japanese kind of style. It's a bit of a traditional style of Japanese builds and I'm really enjoying doing them. So if you want to see more tutorials like this, please be sure to smash that like button and let me know in the comments what build you'd like to see me do next. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up just there. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Just don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. But for now, this is Blue Nerd signing out. And I will catch you guys in the next one.